Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, get better performance in Star Wars Outlaws dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around until the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Oh. Up, head over to settings on your pc and then go down to gaming head over to game bar and turn this thing off game bar consumes a lot of ram and cpu usage and disabling that will help you to improve your pc go back to gaming head over to game mode and turn this thing on game mode turned on will optimize your pc by turning things off in the background helping you to improve your pc's performance and fps in the games right mean that you'll find graphic settings simply click on that and then click on change default graphic settings over here you have to click on on for optimizations for windowed games and then go back to graphics here click on the browse button and now you have to go to the download location of your game once you locate your game simply click on add and then click on outlaws.exe and then click on the same button again head over to options select high performance and this will optimize your graphic card and utilize that to render the game once that is done, simply close it. Next step is the compatibility settings and for that open up Steam on your PC. Right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Once you're here, right click on outlaws.exe and then go over to its properties. Go to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations. Select change high DPI settings and then click on override high DPI scaling behavior. Click on OK, click on apply and then close it. Okay, before moving ahead, I want to tell you guys about Ezus Voice Wave, which is a super amazing voice changer powered with AI, offering over 300 voices and a completely customizable environment, which you can download from the link in the description below. You can not only use it real time, but you can also use it to change voices in pre recorded audios and videos. Videos. And here is how my voice sounds like in this application. And it is super amazing. So go check out Easy's Voice Wave from the link in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point, and for that, simply search for Create a Restore Point on your PC. And once you're over here, select your local disk C, click on Create, and name it Outlaws. Just so you can remember it. I will recommend you guys to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Star Wars Outlaws FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find six simple folders over here. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click on the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click on the Intel CPU priority. Next is Star Wars Outlaws priority. It, this is super important and I would like you guys to leave your PC specs in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose for this one third is the ram optimization in which i have left a lot of presets according to your ram once again i use 32 gb ram so i need to use this registry it could be different for you so you can double click according to your pc and if that doesn't work out well you can always reset it back to default over here fourth folder is power plan settings in which i have left ultimate performance power plan you can right click on this as administrator and this will import ultimate performance power plan onto your pc you guys can simply click on ultimate performance to set it up and this will help you to consume more power and disable all power saving features on your devices to help you reduce the input latency and improve the fps of your games fifth folder is disabling unwanted services and this is super essential if you use any bluetooth or printer services leave them as it is but other than that i would like you to disable every single one of these registries over here and this will help you to improve your pc's performance drastically once again if any of them is causing any issues and you want to revert it back to normal you can use Use this folder to revert them back. Last is the useful programs in which I have left MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Simply right click and run this as administrator. And this will open up uh, this simple program where you have to locate your graphic card. Click on the MSI button in front of it and for the Intel priority go with high. Click on apply and then close it. This will set up the correct SFIO priority for your graphic card. Next is the Unpack CPU which is super simple application once again. Windows by default has a tendency to park the cores which are not in use and these cores might cause performance issues while you're gaming so to fix that problem you have to slide this core parking index all the way up to 100 percent and then click on apply this will enable all of your cores and let it run while you play the games and this will help you to boost your pc's performance simply close it close the programs folder next step is disabling windows animations and for that you have to simply look up for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here select custom enable save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnail system of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. These four 
options will help you to keep the basic look of your windows intact and disable all unnecessary animations which might be causing performance issues and cpu uses in the background the next step is a rather a booster over here that is in the advanced tab that is setting up your virtual memory click on the change button over here and deselect automatically manage paging file size for the initial size set this thing to 1361 and open up calculator on your pc now you have to multiply your ram that is 32 gb for me with 1024 this will give you your memory in megabytes divide this value by 2 and the new value should be pasted in the maximum size this will help you to set up the optimal value for gaming virtual memory helps you to use as your ram it utilizes your rom and whenever your ram is full it will help you to perform better virtual memory is used as your physical rom which is converted into virtual memory if your ram is completely in use this is how you correctly set it up click on set click on ok and then it should be done next step is disabling sysmain and for that simply search for services on your pc and once you're over here click on the s button on your keyboard and then look for sysmain if that is running on your pc you can simply stop it and then click on properties head over to the startup type and set it to disabled sysmain is generally not utilized on your pc and it consumes a lot of ram and cpu while it is running in most cases disabling sysmain will help you to improve your pc's performance but if it does the last Data, you guys can always enable it back once that is done you guys can now drop into the game for the best in game settings okay once you open up your game press your escape key and then head over to settings over here go down to video and then you have to select your vertical sync off display mode should be exclusive full screen resolution should be your native monitor resolution cinematic display mode should be set to fill screen monitor refresh rate should be set to the highest available for your monitor cinematic stream rate should be set to logged frame rate limiter should be set to off as well and video reflex low latency go with ultra if that is available for you out of focus sleep should be set to off and then for the upscaler type go with amd fsr 3 if you have an amd gpu or nvidia dlss if you have an nvidia gpu or intel zest if you have an intel gpu frame generation you can turn it on it adds up a little bit of input latency so if you guys are looking for higher fps you can go with frame generation enabled but if you're looking for a lower input latency gameplay go with frame generation off upscaler mode should be set to fixed and upscaler Scalar quality should be set to quality. Once it is done, apply these settings and then go back. Head over to graphics settings and over here for the graphics set quality, you can go with low. We'll head over to advanced graphics settings over here and then everything should be set to low. Fog blur should be set to off and shadow proxy should be set to on. Particle quality set to medium and every other thing should be set to low. Press G to apply these settings and press spacebar, go back. And then over here, cinematic lens should be turned off. Filmic green should be turned off. Depth of field should be set to low and motion blur intensity go with zero. Similar for all of these options go with zero. Nvidia RTX direct lighting off and MSI mystic light go with off. Once that is done you can go back and now you guys can drop it in the game and enjoy the best FPS possible. So guys that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Also if you have not joined our channel membership you guys can go and join it. It really supports me. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and Peace out.